The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 33 through 35. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 3rd, 1973, in London, England. If, however, you do not fight this religious war, then you will certainly incur sins for neglecting your duties and thus lose your reputation as a fighter. So, uh, Imam Dharmam, uh, religious fight, just like even nowadays also, if the soldier disobeys the order of the commander, uh, that soldier is shut down by martial law. Because to disobey the order of the commander is uh, sinful. Uh, so Krishna says, "Hathat chittam imam dharmam sangramam na kurishes." This fight is not ordinary fight. It's not the politician's uh, fight <coughs> for the sake of religion. Uh, you must fight. And if you do not, then sadharmam, you are a kshatriya. Not only kshatriya, you are a very well-known fighter. You have been recognized by so many demigods. Uh, Arjuna god, the Pasupat Astra. Uh, to test Arjuna's fighting capacity, sometimes uh, uh, <coughs> Lord Shiva and Arjuna was hunting in the forest. So Lord Shiva also as a hunter, he appeared before him, and when a boar was killed by hunting, Lord Shiva claimed that I have done this killing. Uh, Arjuna said, no, I have done this. So there was controversy. Who will claim that hunt, hunt, um, this is kill animal? So Arjuna was claiming and Lord Shiva as a hunter, he was also claiming. Then there was fight between Lord Shiva and Arjuna. The so Lord Shiva was defeated. So he then disclosed his identity that I am very much pleased that he is such a nice fighter. So he presented him one arrow which is called Pasupat Astra. Similarly, he sometimes fought with Indra. Uh, he gave him uh, some astra weapon. This was the system that is Khatriya is presented with a kind of weapon. Uh, the Brahmana is presented with Vedas. Uh, and so far Vaishyas and Sudras are concerned. They are not very important. So Arjuna was recognized by Lord Shiva, by King Indra, uh, many others also. Uh, so Krishna says that you have got recognition from big personality. See, if you don't fight, then not only you should be irreligious, but also you lose your reputation. Uh, <coughs> Tata sadhanam kirtincha hitya papam avabhus. Papam means sin or sinful reaction. Uh, so it has to be just. 
when sometimes fighting is papam, means sinful activity, and sometimes fighting is punnam, pious activity. It requires the time, circumstances, on what ground the fighting was going on, uh, on whose order the fighting was going on, these are to be studied. Uh, so violence and nonviolence, uh, our great leader, uh, leader, Mahatma Gandhi, he wanted to prove from Bhagavad Gita nonviolence. He started the non-violence movement and he wanted to support. Everyone takes advantage of Bhagavad Gita and tries to support his view uh, on the strength of Bhagavad Gita. Therefore he'll find so many interpreters. Everyone wants to utilize. There are more than six hundred publications, commentaries, on Bhagavad Gita. Uh, one doctor, Rele, in Bombay, he has interpreted Bhagavad Gita as talks between a physician and a patient. So these things are going on. <coughs> but that is not Bhagavad Gita. That is, Namnad Balad Jasavi Papabuddhi. Nama Pura, ten kinds of offenses. This is offense. Just like Namna Balad Jasahi Papa Buddhi. We say, this Hastra says that by chanting Hare Krishna Mantra, you become clean of your sinful activities. That's a fact. But if somebody thinks, that I shall go on committing sinful activities and chant Hare Krishna mantra. So it will be adjusted, neutralized. Uh, this is the most sinful activity. Namnarva. By the strength of chanting, committing sin. Uh, so similarly, on the strength of Bhagavad Gita, if one wants to pray with foolish philosophy, that is a great offense. Uh, that's a great offense. Uh, therefore, uh, Bhagavad Gita cannot be interpreted by foolish commentators. Uh, it must be studied uh, through the parampara system, acharya upasana. One must worship the acharya and learn from him what is Bhagavad Gita. Atajavan Purusa Veda. This is the Vedic injunction. Who knows things as that? Atajavan Purusa, one who is under the guidance of Acharya. So you won't find this foolish non violence theory from any Acharya. Many Acharyas have commented on Bhagavad Gita. The Ramanucharya, Madhyacharya, even Sankaracharya, but never say that Bhagavad Gita is proof of non-violence. Non-violence is good. But when there is uh, dharma yudha, righteous fighting, there is no question of non-violence. Violence is approved. Uh, therefore Krishna says, the tatasadharma kirti will, uh, by neglecting your sadharma, your professional or occupational duty, uh, and minimizing the uh, importance of your recognition, kirti, kirti jasasadivut, anyone who is reputed for his Good activities. He lives forever. Kirti jasa sa jivat. Vajasadas samadamam. 
तजो दुर्जन संसदम भज साधु समागमम चाणक पंडित आर सुखे कीर्ति से हु लीव फॉर ए वाय वन हु हैज नॉट रेपुटेशन फॉर इज वन हु इज फेमस फॉर इज गुड एक्टिविटी सो डोंट ट्राई टू लूज युअर रेपुटेशन यू आर ए ग्रेट फाइटर रिकॉग्नाइज बाय सो मेनी अथॉरिटीज एंड इफ यू डोंट फाइट देन पीपुल विल से ना अर्जुन इज फिनिश्ड He cannot anymore fight. So don't lose this reputation. Don't be deviated from your occupational duty as a chhatriya. If you do all these things, then papam avapsasi. You don't think that you will be a pious. Well, on the other hand, you will become impious. Papam avap. Next word. <coughs> People will always speak of your infamy, and for one who has been honored, dishonor is worse than death. Akritin chavi bhutan kothai shanti the abhayam sambhavi dasya chakritin maranad adhichchad sambhavi dasya one who is very reputed. famous man uh, if he does something wrong then it was better to die before such a infamy is grown this is advice arjuna is famous as a great fighter not only that he is personal friend of krishna so much so that krishna has agreed to become his chariot driver just try to understand what is his position uh, the supreme personality of god is krishna who is worshiped by lord brahma govinda madhi purusham tamaham bhajan he has agreed to drive the chariot of arjun on account of fancy now we have to imagine how much famous he is everyone is oh krishna he is he is so intimate friend that he has agreed to drive his chariot this is your reputation all over the world eh So sambhavi to such a thing, and if you don't fight now, what people will say? Better you die. Krishna is advising that instead of becoming a very good man, non-violent, you lay down your life. That is my advice. You die. I shall see that you have died. I will be very much pleased. This is Krishna's advice. How much? He has become. Uh, I would say dissatisfied with the decision of our John. No, but now I am not going to fight this battle. So the Krishna's last advice is that if you don't fight, better you die before him. I shall be very much pleased. Then. The great generals who have highly esteemed your name and fame will think that you have left the battlefield out of fear only, and thus they will consider you a coward. Payadranadu purutam mangshanti tvam maharataha jishan chetanga bhumatu bhutva jasya silavam. Ah, this spirit of chhatriya was prevalent even. Say three hundred years ago in India, uh, there was a king, Jashuvan the Saint. Uh, he was the commander in chief of Emperor Aurangzeb. So, in one fight, uh, he was defeated. 
and came back to his home. So his wife heard that my husband has been defeated. He's coming back home. So he asked the caretaker to close the door of the palace. So when Dasavanta Singh came there, uh, he saw that the, his palace door is closed. Then he sent message to the queen that why you have closed the door, I have come home. Uh, the messenger came and informed that the king has come. So he is asking to open the door. The queen replied, who is king? Uh, Jajamandha Singh? No, no. Jajamandha Singh cannot come uh, being defeated. Uh, Jajamandha Singh, either he conquers the battle or he lays down his body there, dead. So the man who has come, he must be some, somebody pretender. He is not King Jajamandha Singh. So she refused to open the door. Uh, this is the spirit of Khatriya spirit. Uh, uh, so here also the same thing, five thousand years also ago. Uh, that Krishna says that you are so reputed a fighter, and if you stop fighting, people will not consider especially other commander-in-chiefs like Dronacharya, Bhishma, Karna, the Maharathas. Maharatha means one uh, fighter who can uh, combat with thousands of men alone. He is called Maharatha. As nowadays the titles are captain, commander, commander-in-chief, uh, similarly, formerly, Maharatha, Otiratha were well, the title given to these soldiers, fighters. So Maharatha, the, uh, the greatest commanders, so Krishna said that you have recognized one of the Maharathas, so what the other Maharathas will think of you? They will not consider that out of compassion you did not fight. They will think that out of fear you have left the battlefield. They will take the opposite. Bhayad Ranadupuratam. Out of fear you have stopped fighting. Mangsanti Tana Maharatha. So now you are recognized as one of the Maharatha. Jisham Satam Bahumako. Oh, you are known by uh, various uh, uh, commander in chief. Bhutya Jasasi Lanam. In their eyes, uh, you will be considered as degraded. Bhutya Jasasi Lanam. Why should you accept? Better fight and die. Uh, that's all. Right.